got that right. Please come forward, state your name and your address, please. Ronald Pickleton, 839 across the lane. I'm here in for Mr. Singletary on the pipeline and Mr. Marshall, yes sir. It wasn't implied that it was an outright threat on the eminent domain under Georgia Code. And why they went with Georgia Code and not federal, I don't know what it is. And I'm here right now to ask you if there's anything y'all can do that we really appreciate because <clears throat> Like most people in my area, I already have an existing pipeline running through there put down 40, 50 years ago. And I didn't, when I bought the property, I didn't know it was there. I wasn't told. That's my fault. But this one, no. Or anything I can do. But the existing pipeline is probably less than 200 feet from my backyard. The other pipeline is going to be 60 feet on the other side of this. So, in essence, what I've got is a pipeline that runs all the way through my property diagonally. I got a 120 foot width squat, about 800 feet long. That I can't use it. There's nothing to do with it. I can't put anything there. Can't plant any trees that have deep running roots. You can have them on top of the ground, but you know, throw them in, throw them on. And the only other thing you can do is you can pay your driveway and cycling across it. That's about all you can do with property that you're going to lose. And with two pipelines, one's bad enough over two, it's going to value the property tremendously in my account. It's going to be a hard sell. So I wouldn't let anybody move there without telling them there's two pipelines there. But I appreciate it. Anything you all can do for us. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Pickler, I'm sorry. What was the name of the road, sir? Thank you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I might do it.